Sierra and Octonaut. What's an Octonaut? It's a animated show that Sierra likes a lot. Show the picture. I'm making this bear a. Oh, that's an Octonaut. So what are the materials you're using, Dad? I'm using felt, felt needle felting. You already done the head. Let me see. What kind of eyes did you use? I use plastic eyes that you put on dolls, but they're not in animals, but they're not uh, glued in yet, so they could be look a little bit off. Uh, it's not glue yet. Nope, it's not in there. Glued it's an even. You have to even it. I know I got to even it. The ears look good. See. You look like he wears a sunglass like you do. <laughs> look, Daddy wears his an eyeglass. Sunglass, eyeglass. Correction, please, eyeglass. <laughs> Always correct your English. You got viewers. <laughs> Give me that one for Sierra. When I get him fixed, his eyes will look nice and they'll be set in here like that. They'll look nice. How big should be? How big what should be? How big he should be? Should be about that big. Mm. Not that big. Octonauts to the octocave. Octonauts to lunch bay. You like it? No, well, octo. And they have, and they have guts. What's your favorite uh, character in Octonauts? This one. Flash one. Flash one. What's his name? What's his name? No, it's Bitsy, I talk. What's his name? Captain Marcos and Fonzie and Peso. You make it louder, please. Nobody can hear you. What's their name? Quasi Peso and, and Captain Bonicos. Oh, son of a blankety blank. What happened, Dad? You poke your finger with the needle? Well, that's yes, the first time it happened to this one. Nanny Plum already poked my finger four or five times already. Mommy, I've been faster with it. He's doing the ears right now, right? Yep. And his body. Then what's next, his body? His hat. Ah, his hat. Ah, he got hat? Yes. Ah, yeah, he does. Oh, well, after the last got hat. Okay, we will continue this one on the hat, okay? Mm. Tell me when you're ready. Alright. Daddy doing the hat already. His color blue, like his nose, blue. These needles have barbs on them. I actually did a review on these on this needle felt in another video. So if you want to check out what it what these are all about, you can check out the other video. But you can make whatever you want this felt. So if you can't find something to buy like this, like for my daughter, like she wants one of these and I can't find one to buy and it's a bunch of crappy stuff that's useless. But nothing good. Let's find one. They got these they got big stuffed animal types of these and stuff like that. They're overpriced. No good. Make your own stuff. Here's a patch up there. I've not decided if I want to print one and glue it on because that may be hard to make. It's like an octopus or felt one. I may just print one and put it on here. Glue it on. These, these patches are nothing you want to deal with. What does the felt look like? And there's a bunch in here. Actually, need to get some more. With different colors. I don't know these things. My husband does. He's, I called that one now. You call yourself laughing. Renaissance man. <laughs> he said he's a Renaissance man. Renaissance man. He's I went a, to a private Catholic school. When you go to a private Catholic school, those nuns teach you, teach you about everything almost. 
because they've been doing Catholic private school in America, you learn a lot of things. The Catholic school I went to was really good. Teach you, teach you how to crochet and everything. I don't know this one until I meet the my husband. Knit one, pearl two. I just knit recently one, met this two. thing. <laughs> we got acquaintance just recently, last year, I guess. So, hello, guys. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna happen when you live in a third world country, you don't know nothing. Okay, we'll continue that later because it takes time to make this thing. We'll be here until next year. No, I'm almost, I won't take that long. Oh, you do? Oh yeah, well, go ahead and turn the camera off because you got a lot of poking on that. Hey. I know it's a lot of poking that thing. Be careful you get poke yourself. I'm going to poke one time this time. I'm shocked. You think you end up getting it five, six, seven, eight times in my nail. So bye for now. Okay, it's so moving on to the body. <coughs> and tell me what's going on right now. Well, the body's not red. So when you're felting, then you buy these colors because they send you, you can't choose what color you want. They send you a whole pack. Maybe somewhere else in the world you can choose what, what color you want. But because it comes in a variety of colors, so to save the colors I use the most, I'll take these colors that I don't use the most, and then I'll undercoat it, and then I'll put the color I am going to end up with on the top. That way I won't use up all the colors that I use the most, and I can uh, make more stuff. These are, when you look at these pictures, you're looking at, uh, what you're looking for is basic shapes. And you're looking for like the body, because you can see here the body is, when you measure the body from, from the top of my fingernail to the bottom of my thumbnail, it's about a little over half of the head. So when I measure this body up to this, I put it on here, see so it's already about right. So you make you can measure your proportions like that or you can measure like how tall he is he's one two he's three heads tall including his legs you measure well not him he's one he's two heads tall so I have to make this one by the time he's done so you have to proportion it but you don't have to get it 100% right because you're not a machine but you don't want it looking all gangling out of proportion either And remember, this is just like sculpting out of clay or anything. Just make sure that when the face, you divide the face, to make sure the right half and the left half match. So it's common sense. If you've got an eye here on the right, put the same eye on the left. If you got this ridge here on the left, put the, the ridge the same place on the right. Center of the nose stuff. So make sure. And you can also cut it up into four pieces if it helps also because sometimes you can cut it into four pieces you have to use your brain what if i don't have no brain and then you have to find some <laughs> find some other hobby <laughs> 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 to find some other hobby you don't got a brain for it i don't even got the brain i don't got a brain my sale sold good and i don't got a brain for sewing i can't sew worth a damn i ain't got no brain you got a brain but not just for different stuff i think my brain's only one third of what i have in my hand yeah, tell me to sew, then I'm gonna look stupid. Cause I don't know, cause I can't sew worth a damn. I can sew with a needle and thread, fine. But I'm talking about a sewing machine. You put a sewing machine in front of me, it's a lost cause. No matter how much you explained it to me, I'll never get it. But something, but stuff like this, it's fine. And when you're using this thing, see when you're using this small needle, you can poke it like a son of a bitch, like this. But when you're using this thing, with all these needles in it, oh damn, got stabbed. With all these needles in it, which it, you want to, when you press it, you take it slow like that. You can't do this like that, because it won't work. This thing is really good. This one works good. You poke it up. Yep, they go. 
Coke fever. Coke fever. Right? Yeah. The last time you put the table. I don't know. It's because I didn't, I didn't have that. That's because I was doing it on the table like that because it's more firm. Like, what the hell? You gotta watch how you're crushing this stuff too. You'll deform your shape. See like that. See the shape got deformed. So when I go on these sides, I have to reform the shapes back. So I always remember that your shape will get a little. It's gonna get a little off. I mean, this is felt. You gotta put it back. You can't say, "Oh, it's messed up." No, it ain't messed up. Even if it looks messed up, you've done something a little bit the way you shouldn't have done it, you can always straighten fill it up by adding more to it, by poking it more firm and adding a little more to it. It's almost impossible to mess up felt. See how this blue is covering over that base color down there? And then I'm by, and by doing this, I'm saving a whole lot of blue because blue is one of the colors that I use a lot. You have to decide, some people say use this needle for that, that needle for this, because these needles are different sizes. Don't listen to people like that. Find out what needle that you, that puts your felt, that ties your felt in the best and use it. If somebody else wants to use a different type of needle for a different area, different type of felt, and let them do it. But if you you're like, well, I work better with the other needle, then work then work with the other needle. You don't have to listen to some listen to somebody. It's just kind of, people give advice. They don't tell you what to do. It's like me. I give advice on how to do this stuff, but I'm not telling nobody what to do. It's just advice. And if anybody does tell you what to do, stay away from those jackass and old dolls. Oh, I'm a professional at this. I'm a per no, no, they're not. They just Google that stuff and act like they're a professional. They're called key, keyboard cowboys. People that give that advice like that but they've never done nothing today in their life. So people giving advice on how to work on small engines. They probably never worked on a small engine ever since it was born. Okay, come down, love. Okay, we'll cut that one out right now. We'll continue <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay, the bud is covered up with blue already. It's almost done. You know, in its way. I had to put a little extra blue on it because I missed a few spots. But when you're connecting the body, and that's a good thing about needle felting, you can, when you make the head and the body separate, when you make the head and the body separate, you connect them. When you make the head and body separate, you connect, don't do that. You connect them by pushing down in like that. And then if you do it this way, the white fibers go down into the blue and hold it on. If you do it this way, the blue fibers go down into the white and hold it on. And that's what I want to do. I don't want to mess with those white fibers that much. Because it uh, because if you do that too much, it'll start distorting the the shape. But once you jam them down in there like that and put them on, see, that thing ain't coming off. And these parts like this, little, these little parts here are still showing through kind of red that I missed. All you do is rip a piece of stuff off, fix it up, stick it on there, put it on, put it on. Want to learn? Yeah. Why? Scared of needle? Yeah. Why? Yeah. All Steph now has put his arms and his legs on and he's pretty much finished. And his white paws. Yeah. yeah and his white paws. Make sure you pack this stuff good. And they have boots. I know, I see them. They're blue. You can kind of drag that to the side and push it like that if you want to get some of those 
fibers or the little hairs down in there. So we'll have to cut so many off. Don't be messing around with that needle felt stuff, Sandy. Don't be around with any plum nap. You mess it up. Somebody buying the one already. You should have any plum nap. There's some 90 plums on the way to being finished too. I had to pause it to uh... It's ready to be sold. I had to pause it to work on uh, this up the knot. She's lacking of arm and wings. Right and legs, that's it. Yep. That's it. We're done. I don't do no more of that like that because I need it. Don't waste that now. Continue again later. It's to be continued all the time until it's done. Daddy. You died? Yeah, I stuck it in my finger. You stabbed your finger? I was like this and I went like that and I went in at an angle and broke. I'll hop into your finger now. Nothing. It don't even bleed or nothing. These things are just brittle. So what are you doing now? I'm putting the uh, hands on the ends of the arms and I'm getting ready to put the arms on. You connect the white and the blue? Yep. I was gonna make your sure your, your uh, felt is really firm, and if it gets too small, add more to it because it has to be firm. And I think I'll add a hair more to this hand. I didn't need none on that other hand. This hand's coming up a hair shorter than the other one. I always make sure this stuff is firm. Ow, oh, cheese! Cheese! I always make sure this stuff is really firm. That's the bad thing about that. You keep poking your finger. That's how you get it. That puts me on the swing. Well, that's those, uh, what is it? Those, uh, it comes with little guards to wear on your fingers, but they're too small. They feel funky anyway, and I don't stab myself enough to warrant using them. And I don't hurt that bad, because these things are not, like, viciously sharp. It's just a yipe factor. It's just only enough to shock your brain. Yeah, it's just enough to be like, yipe! But it don't really, don't even really do nothing. It's just enough for your brain to register that you're under attack. <laughs> How about you there? She's felting too. How's your finger? Nothing, I don't need to poke it and break it. Okay, you didn't poke your finger. I couldn't believe what I seen. I'm putting a big sack on. If this is not firm, add to it. Because you can't leave this stuff loose. And this is the. Okay, this arm goes here. And see these arms? Any okay. arms, legs, toes, it don't matter. Once you put them on, see, because they're not on. Once you put them on and start stabbing around this stuff like this, like that, see, it's on. And the more you stab it, the more it goes on. Ignore that man behind the curtain. The more it goes on, you should put any those there so you hold it. I'll feel a little bit down on this side so his arms won't be sticking out like he's doing the little, doing the little body. Like a dance? Yeah. <laughs> that way his arms won't be sticking out to the sides. And once they're on, so they don't come off. Is out. You I know I'm gonna. I will. I will. Don't worry. But then because the brown is sticking out, I'm gonna go ahead. I was gonna do it here in a minute, but let's do it now. Go ahead and put a little, a little more of this on. Hmm. And poke it and poke it. Needle felt don't take that long, actually. Needle felt don't take that long. When I first started needle felting, way back in the way back, I was thinking, gosh, I might need to take forever. But when you start doing it, you're like, well, you can get it done that fast. 
Those nuns are like, needle felling does not take that long. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding. And it don't. Uh, this is for your small other kitty. Oh, okay. You're learning? Yes. You do? How you learn? Learn what do we? Okay, let's One on. arm is on. And the next one. And the other arm is getting ready to go on. We'll be there that when they're done, okay? Okay, their uh, arm is up already. You want to fix this? Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of this light on there. You don't have the black blue? I'm out of dark blue, so I'm debating on whether to leave these white showing until I get some more or put some light blue on it. The legs are coming along. Okay. Ain't got no foot yet, so it's coming next. Blue. When I get some more dark blue, I think I will put it over the leg when I get it. But right now, I don't have it. So, when I order order some more later on and get it, I'll uh, put it on. I think it's better with the pattern. So, once I get the other blue, dark blue, I'll put some on here. But right now, I don't. I run out. So it's going to be this lighter blue. Once the other blue, dark blue, I get it, whatever that'll be, and I'll put it on. And it's good. Th that's also the good thing about needle felling. You can uh, trade one. Uh oh, can you get that? You can trade one color. You can trade one color for another one, and then when the other color comes in, you can uh, change it out really easy. I mean, cover it up really easy. I'm not going to go all out on these the lag color because when I get the other blue and put it on it, I don't want it to be too thick. But I will cover up that base part though. Finish your first part with it, or? Yeah, it's like the other leg. I'm done with it. Okay, we we'll continue on the legs, on the foot, I mean. Continue on the foot later. It's almost done. You're putting up what? The foot, right? Yeah, I'm putting on the foot, right, the feet right now. The other one's on there. And then, like I said, once I get that dark blue. When I get any more of it, I'll go ahead and dark blue and get a light color of dark blue. Hey, what's the street? Shouldn't we get kind of... Oh, it's going to... I don't look at anything. It's going to... Okay. It's a piece of red still thrown, showing through here. I'll get that later. Watch what you're doing. Be, be your finger again. This needle goes down farther than you think when you're stabbing with it. 
That's pretty much him. I want to do a little bit of touch up off camera and cut some of those furs off. You need to fix this deadly. I ain't got no dark blue. Yeah, it's flat. I don't ain't got no dark blue. I'll have to do that when I dark blue him. Get more dark blue. It would look funny if I put that light blue way up there with that dark blue already on it. But I get some more dark blue. I'll do a little bit of touch up here and there. Do a little bit of touch up here and there with it. But uh, other than that, it's finished. I'll, uh, when I get the dark blue, I'll uh, fatten them out a little bit here. Cover up these white spots. Right here. And then do his uh, bottom half. When I get the other dark blue. Why did I sell the one color and then you just no, the color? No, the whole thing. So this is it now, but it looks good already. Like I say, the dark blue and the touch-ups when I get the other uh, when I get the other stuff, the dark blue and the touch-ups, and then he'll be uh, he'll be perfect. Sierra. Barnacles got mute. You didn't see it. So I'll be talking to you for another minute. Yeah. But we don't knock knock. Why don't we cut these little furs? Where's those big scissors? Where's those big red scissors? It's cutting the Pair four, whatever. How you pronounce it? I'll do the patches a little later. The pure, <laughs> the poor, fair, uh, ever. Fur. Fur. I'll do the patches a little okay. later. Okay. Gunting, gunting niya ang mga dahon ako na ang mga kuan buhok buhok <laughs> dahon dahon buhok buhok. <laughs> Kasabot ka sa akong istorya na. Ha? Sige, gunting ni daddy ang buhok-buhok. Gunting nga po niyang buhok-buhok, daddy, oh. Kaya daghan ka ayaw na nga nanindog. <laughs> daddy, gunting nga ang buhok ni siya. <laughs> she don't like me speaking Bisaya because she don't understand also Bisaya. She grew up in Philippines. But she don't understand Bisaya. So she keep watching English Cartoons only. Russian. And Russian. <laughs> she likes Russian cartoons, uh, British cartoons, and Stop it! and Italian. She likes all her bloodlines except the Filipino. Uh, she like she like Filipino. The song. She like the song Filipino. <laughs> okay. Let me see that. It's okay now. Wait long, wait long, wait long. That's wait. done, right? I accept the retouch later on. Right? Yeah, it's done. Except the retouching later on, and I'll put the patches What's on. What's his hat? The hat's already on his hey, hey, head. It's a touch. We'll take a picture in that one. So we have thumbnails. Don't pull it, knock, knock. No, Dad, you see, Daddy's still fixing that. Okay. You see, come here, don't run away. And, and don't be complaining about his that white in his arm and stuff, because I gotta get more. Daddy ran out of blue. I gotta get more of that blue, and then all that stuff like that, I'll fix it up when I get more blue from uh, you know where. Okay, we'll take a picture. Hold it. Here. I know we can stand up here. Here, let me go. 